so happy. Oh, are we? A little bit happy and excited and nervous and scared. All of those things. Do you feel like a celebrity? Because everyone is talking Australia. Well, I'm a celebrity in my own country. <laughs> um, but no. I think, I think, look, who would have imagined, right? So we've been showing Eurovision on Australian TV for 30 years. It's always been on the television. We've been coming since 2009 to do commentary. And now to have guys singing is quite extraordinary. So we are deeply grateful and still in shock. And a lot of us think you're going to win. How do you feel about that? Well, I like where you're going with that. But uh, look, you know, never get cocky. I look, I'll be happy to not be bottom 10. <laughs> That's what I want. I don't want to be bottom 10. Top three would be great. You're not, well, don't say that now, my darling, because it can come back to haunt you. And, and you're going to be haunted. Is there a rivalry with the UK? Are you particularly keen to beat them? I don't think that's hard to do this year. So even, even you know, a lot of English don't like the song. I look, I, you know this competition, anything can happen. You know that. But also, we would like UK to vote for us, and we will probably vote for the UK because we are very aligned as well. So if we're good to each other, we can vote for one another, which would be great. Only if you like the song, of course. Only if you like the song. She's bringing Eleganza from down under. Thank I am. You. Correct. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great You're Eurovision. Fabulous. No, you I are. I love listening to your commentary. Oh, thank you. So, so sneaky. Have a good night. You too. Drink something hard for me. Well, <laughs>